but in lieu of that, uh, uh, I'm, I, 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 I don't know, man. This is a Tupperware container in the back of the fridge that is that has got a lot of different colors that I can see through the translucent body. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I don't go on Reddit anymore, and I don't go on. I, I, uh, well, hold your applause because this is a segment of the show called "Because I Don't Go on Reddit Anymore." What the fuck is going on on Reddit? <laughs> Because uh, I get tweeted things, I got tweeted, Jeff. Yeah. There, do you know what a do you know what a, do you know what a subreddit is? I look. I've gone on Reddit twice, and I don't understand what the ups and the downs. And there's a little picture of a Martian, and I don't know what's going on. It's on millennial it. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they I, think that's changing the world. Wait. So so you go on a, on a it's not a it's not a regular forum because depending on whether people like what you wrote or not, it moves up and down. Yeah. So if I look at it one day and then go back the next day, it's all in a different order based on its own popularity. Yeah. Gay. <laughs> down vote. <laughs> <All right. laughs> all right. So and I mean gay in a Gen X. I don't right. care if gay is bad. Gay. <laughs> Not your millennial. Oh, come on, man. Bullying shit, man. Integrity. Uh, integrity. That's not, that's not integrity. It's just called being a cunt. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't even know what you're talking about. Anymore. No, we're, we're not good people, but we think... No, I know we're good Dan, people. Dan, that's so retarded. Inte- <laughs> that, that's not integrity. That's integrity, just... integrity doesn't mean good person. Integrity means... No, it does. That's no, exactly inte- what it means. Inte- integral. Integral. To what? To, you, to what? To, to the oneself. Uh, uh, self-contained. Self-contained. Yeah. So you, you integrity. Can... Okay, I know who I am. So, so we're, we're self-contained assholes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. So you're not, don't, don't, I'm don't, sure... You know what? Some of us are self-contained good people. Kurt Cobain. He seemed all right. <laughs> On the inside? Seemed, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He seemed like a good guy to me. Yeah. Seemed like he had integrity. How many, how, many, how, many, how many of today's artists have the balls to blow their brains out? <laughs> because or, they're popular. Or how many artists today have the balls to marry somebody who hires somebody oh, to blow their on. brains out? <laughs> She had him killed. Come on. She fucking had that dude killed. It's not ours to say. It's mine to say. <laughs> because you have integrity. That's my point. <laughs> generation X, baby. We're, we're, we're not going to go down as the coolest generation. Man. We're, 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 not, we're not even going to make the top ten in this century. <laughs> Oh, that's century. true. <laughs> but we did, we did, we did open the roads to uh, trade agreements with China, in our own way. <laughs> when you say we, you mean you and me? Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, no, you, no, me, and Doug no, Benson. No, baby, baby boomers did that on our watch. Well, they loosened the mayonnaise jar. <laughs> but Generation X really, really drove it home with China. Wait, we are the reason why Iron Man 3 had a special segment in it where he, the Iron Man lands in China and says, I love China! That was our doing. Gen that was X, this generation. D- does, does Gen X like China? Uh, we have now come to terms with the fact that we have to like them. <laughs> to the point where we re-edited Red Dawn and airbrushed out all the Chinese uh, flags into North Korean flags. Yeah. yeah, we are Generation X is the generation that has now come to terms with China, come to terms with it, the way it comes, <laughs> the way Newton came to terms with gravity. This exists. China exists. We are the Marco Polo of uh, integrity. Of people in a world where China's already been discovered. All right, what were we talking about? No, oh, you, uh, a new segment called. What's on yeah, oh right. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So. Subreddit. There's a Harmontown subreddit. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So remember our friend Levi? Yes, I do. With the shoes? Yeah. Our, our kind of uh, cro- so he, cross-dressing... So he tweeted me... He's on band now. Well, I, Adam, <laughs> you, you're, you're coming up. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. That, that... I don't either. Adam has to come up and talk about this. Adam is a moderator of the subreddit. <laughs> Levi was banned. Wait, wait. Who elected Adam moderator of the subreddit? <laughs> Adam created the subreddit. Oh. Is that how it works? Okay. 
<laughs> Adam, would you like? You, would, you don't have to come up, but I'm inviting you up to. I want to talk about the subreddit maintenance. So this is a fact-finding mission. How is adding t- scenes to Iron Man 3 integrity? I was obviously being ironic. You guys are really good at irony. Yeah, like, that's why we invented Iron Man. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, <clears throat> well, we, we invented loving him. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> After Baywatch, there was a wonderful series called Baywatch Nights that everybody watched, and it went more than six episodes. And after Harmontown, there was Harmontown.com and then a Reddit section to discuss Harmontown. Right. So I created it. Someone annoyed me. I gave them a week off. They're back now. <laughs> and well, I learned the, the depth to which may, I am disliked. May, may, may I interrupt? When you say you gave someone a week off, that, that sounds like... You sent somebody to Tahiti, like in a, on, on, on an all, all expense paid vacation. You, Any you, other website but our Harmontown is Tahiti. <laughs> what? I I'm have t- no idea. I got, so you, you sent someone to the cornfield, like 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 the kid in Twilight Zone. Like, what, uh, you, such you, a good you, episode. You, yeah. You, you banned him from it. Yeah. Because in why? the community. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna start. Look, it takes one to know one. It, it, neither do I know, nor do I care. I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I just. I just want to know. No, but really, I mean, yeah. I. I. I we. We. I, I appreciate. I, I'm cognizant of the fact that dragging you up here is you're 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 up at the plate with two strikes against you, blah blah blah. Uh, but I really do. I am actually curious. I also think there's some inherent entertainment value, and I do, at I, that point but I, but, I believe but, the first two parts. I did not believe that part. You don't think that I thought that it would be entertaining to talk no, about it? I. Well, I, 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 I accept that I would this be is, wrong. This is like a DVD commentary about a DVD commentary. <laughs> but I. But I wanted to talk to you. Okay. What so, I was really thinking about when I was talking about that was how that. W- <laughs> but also, I've been in the Harmontown subreddit, and I've seen like you know, you, as in all of Reddit, you see every once in a while you see the brackets, and it says deleted. What does that mean? What happens? When sometimes it it's user deleted. Sometimes it's automatically. Deleted. Oh, sometimes people delete their own. Yeah. Like if you say something like Tahiti being uh, something something, you can be like, I didn't say that at all. Right. Deleted. But it's, but if someone responds to you and says you're full of shit and here's why, you can go back and delete your yeah and comment and just which, leave that person hanging there, <laughs> going like, you're full of shit, Mister Deleted in brackets. <laughs> which is why you have to quote extensively. You have to say, right. well, you said this, this, and this, but actually the capital is Mogadishu, so uh, I think uh, you've been welcome to the own zone. Hashtag own zone. So our friend Levi... Don't, didn't, didn't use that term. Our friend Levi... Acquaintance. Is, ...is in the Harmontown subreddit where let's all, let's all admit that uh, uh, nobody's... Tomorrow's uh, senators are not running... <laughs> Running through the Harmontown subreddit, it is hopefully a place I think for it's misfits. Just, it's a glory. It's like a field of dreams of glory holes, but there are some animals mixed in there. Right. So it's not some. Okay, n- now I'm back in. <laughs> it, is a, it is a place where normal interactions are theoretically possible, but the medium makes them. Uh, squealier than nearly anything else. What did your, you, your internet is a toilet theory. Yes, it is, and it's horrendous. And I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm speaking to you as a guy who won't even go go back there because I realize that even the act of being there can cause harm to people. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm not attacking you, but I'm definitely curious and think it's an important conversation as we talk about going to form a colony on the moon. And you are in this situation, appointed or not, where you, you created the subreddit, which I thought was a, I mean... It's a good place. To, it's, it's a good discussion venue. But. So it put you in the place of a moderator, and now you're in the position, you got this ban button, and you clicked on it for this guy mm-hmm. who's been on our show with his no, no shoes and his crazy yeah, talk. He was ba- his, I think his thing was he was barefoot and wanted to be pregnant. 
Right. So, so what? What? What, deep did, cut, what deep did? cut. What did he do in the? What did he do in the subreddit that 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 made the difference between clicking ban and just letting him letting him go? I think it was like the eighty seventh post of why did you ban me that retroactively justified everything, but. If you if you look at someone's comments on Reddit, you, it tells you, you how many times that you downvoted them, or how many times they're like, "Ah, I don't want to read this ever again." So his crime was, was being the Dan Harmon of the of the Harmontown subreddit. He was being the Adam Goldberg of the Harmontown subreddit. <laughs> but the Adam Goldberg Shit of the Harmontown subreddit him. banned him, which is why this is so fascinating. It isn't. It's just, at is it, some level, that arbitrary power has the ability to be arbitrary. But why did you, not, I, why it, did you ban him? I, because I was annoyed. It was getting to the point where every single comment was him responding to someone. And I'm going to take this at a personal level. Back in January at the uh, show at the Egyptian when I rushed on stage and embarrassed myself, <laughs> that was because I was thinking about Harmontown almost all the time. What am I going to say at Harmontown? What should I do for Harmontown? What should I wear for Harmontown? That wasn't a very healthy place to be. And when you see someone whose all their internet posts are, hey, this relates to Harmontown. This is how I feel about Harmontown. Is that how you feel about Harmontown? You realize that in someone else is something that's been plaguing you. And well, so giving them, it's arbitrary. It's a sign of power. And I regret doing it because the entire community's consensus was I shouldn't have done it. Okay. So this is confessional for you, right? This is the trap you fell into. You, you, you felt like, a, you felt like a, a, a nerd and an underdog, and you felt like you had... You had done things that you shouldn't have done, and then you and then you saw someone else doing them, and you were yeah. like, "Yeah." And that's what we all do. And I and I it, I didn't go about it very eloquently. It's internet is not a venue for eloquence. It doesn't have a lot of eye contact. It doesn't have pitch. I have a very high standard for word choice on the internet. <laughs> Absolutely. And the I, I demand one hundred percent. No, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. Otherwise, deleted by deleted will get uh, up in there. Oh. But the fact that we can create communities about communities by someone who created community shows <laughs> your theory that millennials are a really abstracted uh, pictures of pictures of pictures of frames generation because everything is iterated everything has a comment section everything is a direct response a way to yell at Clint Eastwood hey at Clint Eastwood you are Tethagort LOLs hashtag LOLs <laughs> and you can person who reads that can click every other instance of someone misspelling laughs out loud right. that, that and looks- that's our culture that's our culture and it may not be Kurt Loder on MTV News but it's <laughs> <laughs> A chill it's, shot from... <laughs> it's everyone thinking they're Daria. It's every single Daria in the high school library writing to every other Daria. That's really interesting because nobody would be more into that than Gen Xers. Like, that's how we approach it. We're like, oh, shit, everyone's a Daria. But, like, fuck these Darias using this thing. That's interesting. Because we thought Kurt Loder was uh, as good as it got. No, we didn't. <laughs> we, no, we didn't. Yes, we did, Jeff. <laughs> Stop! Don't be a no, fucking Dan, sellout. Dan, stop tying me to fucking Kurt Loder. <laughs> Jeff, and you pe- loved him. And people- Please welcome to the stage Kurt Loder. <laughs> Is he here? I, 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 I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt Loder. <laughs> that guy do wrong he did nothing wrong but he didn't he didn't speak for us i know i know i wasn't saying he was the walter cronkite of our generation well, that, was, that was the implication he brought him up he what, what adam is saying what i what i'm uh, extrapolating from that is that the, a huge technological threshold that we crossed yeah. between these generations depending on where you draw the line is that we went from passive one-way transmission into Interactive. Yeah. Uh, we, we have a generation that's grown up on the internet. That means that they get to say something back. Uh, they, it doesn't fucking matter to Rupert Murdoch what they have to say. Uh, and yet, but we have to all deal with each other in this swirly, eyes wide shut toilet of everyone saying back to each other. And Gen Xers are coming from a place of like, you know, in my day, 
you just, you know, you did what you had to do and you put yourself out there. And, uh, you know, you, if, if somebody had something to say back, it was, it was, uh, you, it got back to you through less channels, thinner fiber optic lines. And now it's just, we're all swimming around in this turd pit. It used to take real effort to thread in a celebrity. You need to find out their address. You need to make, get to the post office, get a stamp. <laughs> and now it's just, it's a few clicks on your phone. And I think that has a deeper effect than just being. Being, allowing us to yell at each other a little louder. Yeah. It's, My big concern is the, the psychological or philosophical, maybe you would call it, the impact of, of people feeling like uh, it's uh, revolutionary to use that uh, medium to uh, police each other mm -hmm. when uh, in my day Kurt Loder told kids what to dance to and there was a president above him who went to war with all the countries and launched the Tomahawk missiles and nobody ever, how nobody ever questioned the politician <laughs> no, you're, you're exactly right that's not how MTV worked because it had nothing to do with what the president did above him but, but Kurt Loder told the kids what to think and what to feel and the kids told Kurt Loder whether or not he was full of shit and you reacted to Kurt Loder by getting your hair cut different from Kurt Loder or, or getting your hair cut the same as Kurt Loder and nothing ever affected the fucking president. Flash forward to today where you have a president and instead of Kurt Loder, you have 8 million fucking YouTube channels. You have a bunch of people swirling around each other. What you don't have is anybody asking what the fuck the president is doing. That's why it's a little infuriating to me that the, the toilet underneath the, what used to be Kurt Loder is now consumed with policing each other. It's like they've tricked us into like self-hatred, which is a common thing thing that happens all the time we're like, like 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 are you racist are you are you sexist are you we're we're, we're, we're gonna do this dance forever really like like like, like yeah everyone wants to squeeb squab everyone else yeah but i'd like to after i'm gonna <laughs> i'm alarmed about it because they 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 they, they, really bad. Like, they turned the key on the internet they're like here we go everybody here's the internet and the government must have been like holy shit what the fuck are they gonna do <laughs> And they, and, they, and they crossed their fingers and closed their eyes, and then they slowly unplugged their ears, and all they heard was Got Milk ads. <laughs> I, what's I, up? Hey, oh, what's God. up? It's the Super Friends doing what's up. But yeah. between Kurt Loder and the internet, there was a show called TRL. Total Request... <laughs> one woo for TRL, which is accurate. <laughs> Total Request Live was the bridge between mass culture and prescribed yes, yes, culture. Yes, because you could totally request live. <laughs> People would go to New York and make part of totally. their visits standing outside MTV studios and saying, I need to hear bye, bye, bye. I yeah. need to hear bye, bye, bye. Technology Justin, which had never you. existed on Good Morning America. Uh, yeah, it was. Well, but that, now there's nothing like that because you can watch music videos whenever you want. You don't have to hear a snippet of a 98 Degrees' new hit. And you don't have the music video television telling you whether or not this is a hot record or something that's going to be into the pit. But that affects spheres. consumption. It doesn't affect how we react to the people who live behind these marble walls. The, no, the, it's, the, not a, it's not a wealth poverty dynamic. It's a, person, it's a person to listener dynamic. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Yeah. How the ability for all of us it. to talk to each other all of a sudden has absolutely no impact uh, above a certain level? It didn't. Do you think the patricians in ancient Rome were like, oh, that guy, that these uh, scribblings, these uh, rude uh, I think that, frescoes I think are that really... in ancient Rome, when somebody dis uh, announced that there was a new way to measure a rectangle, sometimes that dude got his fucking arms and legs cut off. Oh, yeah, bad off. example. Yeah, I mean, we're, 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 because we're it lot... threatened the way we thought about there government. There was a lot of murder we're, because we're, of we're not a... ideas in ancient Rome. Even, even though America... I think that the guy that so. decided the sun was at the center of the solar system, a seemingly benign idea... <laughs> Uh, was forced to repent. A benign idea that wasn't in the Bible. Correct. This is what I'm, oh, 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 oh. Because well, now, oh, so now that we've defeated the Christians, we've like, now, we have, now, now we have no more power structures to overcome, right? We don't have a religion in this world that's like telling us what to think of I think religion is, ex if you go look at Tehran or something, that religion as a powerful societal influence can be extremely restrictive in what people say, but also how they think. They found that in some Saharan African cultures that if there's no past tense, there is no words that uh, follow concepts like promise. There's no word in Swahili for promise because it requires the past tense of I said I was going to do something. Now I'm not under that obligation. Words are directly power, and when you give words like the Bible, like the Torah, like the Koran, the power to be absolutely true 
and free of the strictures of science and free of the questioning of the man on the street, those words gain eternal power. Now we don't have that. The internet, if it was even there at all, one of the first websites I visited was called Skeptics Annotated Bible. That was when I was a little shit. It was 2003. I would sneak off from swim at a summer camp and look up all these passages of the Bible and then like little pictures on the sides. Like, how can that be true? That's mathematically false. Well, what did it say in Genesis 1? And just the ability to transmit ideas instantly against the strictures of religion has like a Martin Luther effect on changing our culture, well, a we Gutenberg beat, we, effect. We, we, we beat the Bible a million years ago. No. we really, Yeah, no. You can look at the skyline of a city and yeah. see that the, the buildings that have to do with money. All right. All right. Sonic the T-shirt, jacket, and a uh, Power Ranger shirt. The power combo has now reached the stage. How you been? You don't have to clap me. Okay. You can applaud for Jesus. How you been? Building rocket ships? Jesus has joined us. Hello? Hey, Susan, I was just thinking about today has come up on stage. I was just thinking about you the other day, oh, like going you. like, oh, man, we squandered our, Harman, our Harmenian who was actually building spaceships. Yeah, well, yeah, I was just helping people build them. So it's, it's yeah, but if any, I mean, you're doing more than Adam in terms of space flight. <laughs> <laughs> once, once we get to the moon, we may yeah, need Adam man, to tell they, us. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey Susan, what, what, what compelled you to come up to the stage? Well, it, it, the idea that we beat religion, and it's just like a big no. No, 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 no. There are there. If uh, I just, and all I've done is read, and I'm just like an internet guy. I'm not going out there. I'm not, you know, like actually talking to people. It's just uh, things I've read. If you go to any kind of area outside of a city, things can be like hundreds or like or just at least sixty or fifty years behind what we think we've already beaten. No, you, you, absolutely. And that's. And that, they, when we talk about, oh, that's just rural area, well, that's, that's most of the country. And no, most yes. of the world, places where children can't go to school because of their yeah. gender, we haven't beaten religion. In Los Angeles, we have. In Los Angeles, you could be gay 80 years ago, and it wasn't a huge deal. <laughs> yes. But in most of the country, that is tantamount to saying the devil has control of your senses, motivations, and instincts. You are a flaw. Absolutely conceited, you guys. Absolutely. Okay. However, yeah. as, a, as a sort of like, like the people that are making things, the people uh, that are, have constructed the glass in your eyeglasses, the people that are that like, like as a society, the people that have built the skyscrapers that are taller than the churches on the skyline, the people that are printing the newspapers, the people that are kind of like, you know, secular. The people that are in the silent majority, uh, 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 like we, I'm not. I sh- it's it's strong language to say we won, we beat them, because that implies there's no more fight to be fought. Mm-hmm. Um, the the what I mean when I say that is um, we have to get our shit together. At, uh, we we are empowered now. We 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 know how, that logic is important. We know. Yeah, I I really agree. I think that. And this is something very strongly I I guess I'd I'd like to broadcast out to the world. I think everyone needs to pick the path of least resistance. You don't argue with people. Arguing never convinces someone of anything. We just convinced him of something. Well, he's open. (laughs) No, that's not true. If you guys had told me that I was wrong about something, I would have I would have fucking batted it off because I'm a primate. Like you, 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 you changed me by saying how you felt about something, and I was invited to. Make sure that you knew that I was also in that water. That's important to know. And, and, and you're open. You're the, one of the most open people. You're, you're open to people coming up. And I just walked up. I had no right to do it. And you're fine with that, ish. You know, no, <laughs> you, don't do it, you guys. But uh, <laughs> um, uh, but it's just it's fact that when when you I, I you know I, I've been trolling ish the Fox News comment section. And just being like, Obama's trying to give me gay health care, you know, like just trying to take it to the extreme, you have healthcare. the extreme level to see when they like go back and other Republicans will be like, I, I don't think he's trying to do that. That hasn't happened yet. Right. They're just they, they just kind of agree. It's a, it's uh, a, there's so little resistance to just going into the New York Times Facebook comment section, no matter what the story is, and just saying God is real. And someone will pick a fight with you. Someone will pick a fight with you. And then when they do, you say, that's a good point, but you forgot that God is real. <laughs> but I can't even remember what... what, what, what. It's like this. This is this rabbit hole that we go down. I mean, if you guys want to get in a knife fight with, 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 with people that are, you know, that, that, that 
they're, they're sort of like have constructed their worldview around something that absolutely needs to be argued with. Um, it, it, but there's a, there's a mindset where like, like, you know, I know atheists that are so immature about their atheism that the, that I sometimes encourage them to just be Christian. I was like, <laughs> you're you're so you're such a fucking zealot about about how God doesn't exist. Like I feel like you're protesting too much, and like I didn't walk into this bar uh, feeling like God didn't exist so much that I needed to get into a knife fight about it. Uh, whereas you do, so maybe you need to go back to the thing. The, and I also know atheists that are the most compassionate. Passionate, wonderful, like like that's why they're technically the, the word atheist almost is. Sorry to cut you off. I just, go ahead. You have to. Um, I don't think people think when you become an atheist or a Christian that's like an achievement, but no, I feel like an asshole will be an asshole in any culture. Sure, they're just they're gonna grow up and be like, oh, this this is the way I get to be an asshole and tell people what to do. And in some cultures, it's it's easier to be this way or that way. It, it doesn't matter. It, it's we need to stop thinking of the spectrum between atheism and Christianity. It's just you're a cool dude and you're not a cool dude. Or do that. Or the, and, and, and so look, when we talk about subreddits and we talk about yeah. uh, uh, AV Club and we talk about Defamer, we talk about we're living in this post-internet world. The internet was created by these programmers. Those, those it was created by the military to the, communicate ideas really quickly. Yes, there was an ex- yes. The, the yeah. military was like, what if you made computers t- uh, together? Uh, it's not it's not helping us kill people. Give it to the libraries. Um, <laughs> but I'm I'm t- I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm talking. About the code that we, the code that was built, the, the, the what is it, forty years old now? Uh, what, what, what is Unix? Like, 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 like there, there's the code that we've built our entire uh, virtual structure on. It was, I'm, I'm pretty sure that those guys didn't go home at night and rub rosary beads and stuff. Like, I, I think those guys are, I, I, maybe some of them were Christian. Like, Stephen Colbert is a fucking Christian. He, he, but but, but uh, I also think that they're, they're logicians. Uh, they have to be. Um, they are pragmatic people. Well, Dan, can we get back to uh, the, the, the thing I started this all was you saying that you are now not on subreddit. You're not on the uh, the internet anymore. Well, that's because I'm just I'm hurting people every time I get on the internet. So, so no Twitter, no Facebook, no Twitter is fine. Twitter seems to be doing fine. Like 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 so, and I like, so I put dog pictures of my dog on Instagram and I I'm on Twitter and then on Tumblr I people can like send me messages and like like these kids send me messages and sometimes they say like you know I'm. I'm gay and I want to kill myself and I can write them back privately if they wrote privately and go, don't do that. Keep, sounds, keep it, being gay. It sounds like you missed out on everyone after that episode where you felt that you were hurting someone. Everyone's like, no, I want Dan Harmon to keep yeah, talking. Yeah, it was like 98%. Like, yeah, percent, yeah. yeah, Dan rules. Dan Harmon needs to keep talking. Well, I don't want to, you know, there's a polarizing effect of that stuff that like, I don't want to, you know what you have you to do too, in those yeah. moments? You have to shoot straight through the middle and I, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get warped by that idea. I, I just I just felt like I don't know. You follow your bliss. Like my bliss is not is not hanging out on there. I'm not doing it passive aggressively. I'm not. How is uh, anybody's bliss li- living in a fucking comment section? I can't understand it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like I, mean, I, I mean, yes. I mean, I was born in 1973. I'm an old fuddy duddy. Get off my lawn, you whippersnappers. But fucking comment sections is just a bunch of fucking anger, a bunch of misguided spleen for no reason. Well, or, I will uh, be like, sarcastic like, like me and trying well, to get a reaction. I will answer that question. Yeah, but you, Jeff. But Adam, you you went mad with power. You you were in control of something, and the first time somebody reminded uh, you of yourself, you 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 snuffed them out like a cigarette. It's an ugly, <laughs> ugly world. Um, and, and the reason, like, I looked at Reddit, I, I, I went down a thing, and some, some things that people say very sweet things. Sometimes people say, "I don't like it," and here's why, and it's very very succinct and very well worded and lovely. Um, but mostly, it's just a bunch of spiraling nonsense. And, not, and, and I'm not trying to say, like stop what's going on here, but watching four men talk about religion and politics is like the fucking like, like, like it's all guys do. Like guys get together, we have a couple of drinks, and we, t- and we try to Not solve- like girls. We, no, no, no. No, because we, 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 we haven't even talked about Jesus' shoes, which are fantastic, but I did mention his a- shirt. A- Adam, I was talking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, no, w- women talk about interpersonal things, and guys try to solve the world's problems, and we get, we get together, and we just spiral around and do all this stuff, and the internet to me is just this, this weird spiraling morass of inanity, and I, like, I look at it, and go, it's just like, like, so like, like, if I want to just complain, I'll type some shit. And it's, it's watching people just bicker, and I hate bickering. Uh, it's yeah. not. It's not. It it's, sounds like you hate waste. Uh huh. Waste. Waste of time. Okay. Waste of energy. Waste of uh. Waste of the English language. Uh, I hate. <laughs> I hate the uh, the 
uh, abbreviation of our language into, into clicks and grunts, which H.L. Mencken in the 20s or 30s predicted before typewriters and computers and before, I mean, but not before typewriters, but before uh, people wrote through typing, uh, he, he predicted that our language would be reduced to a series of short grunts and clicks and, 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 and uh, abbreviations and uh, anagrams. Or, or what's, what's the uh, acronyms? Ac- acronyms. Uh, and he's absolutely right. It's like watching people have discourse like that uh, it's, it's, it's shocking. Our language is dying, and I think uh, there's nothing to be proud of by, by a, a culture that communicates through feedback loops like that. I think that it's, uh, th- there's no art to it. There's no intelligence necessary. And I think uh, th- there's no vetting process and there's no qualifications for someone to go on there and moderate something, to ban somebody, to go on there and flame somebody, to go on and torture people, to go on and tell you to shut up, for you to feel bad about that, for you to even care about it. <laughs> like, like I-, I go to restaurants. I look at Yelp because Yelp is great because it tells you where. Like, if, if I travel a lot and I'll type in Italian restaurant if I'm in the mood or pizza or Thai food or whatever I want. And you look at it and I, I look for the worst reviews. And if I see some cunt or douchebag or some guy go, I went on a first date to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, uh, to Bangkok Thai Palace and uh, my date was pretty unhappy. I'm like, no, you had a bad time. You're an asshole. Like, uh, I, 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 if I find the most bad reviews, I go to that restaurant because that guy won't be there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, so, but listen, so you go to the drawing room, you got your suit on, you play darts, you have the same conversation you have with the regulars there. There's there's some repetition there, there's some inefficiency there. I'm not standing up for what you're talking about, but I'm saying it is human nature. There's there's introverts and extroverts. There's, there's people who want to look good and people who are better at making eye contact. I'm not in that school. I'm graduating. I'm being forced to graduate at 40 years old. I, 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 I do not want it to be happening to me, but a lot, I didn't want to quit smoking either. I have to get off the fucking internet, and I have to go sit in a corner of a bar and let's drink. All, let's all get off the internet. Let's all just throw it in the toilet. It's like it, it, another it lost episode, course. everybody. And, but also, also <laughs> like, 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 like we were, you guys were talking about before about like whether or not. Um, well, yeah, I wait, mean, hang on a second. Yeah. Uh, like, because I forget what I'm saying. I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, like the internet can be revolutionary and the moment there is a protest in Seattle against you know the World Bank or whatever uh, and they they turn off your fucking Twitter they turn off your phones so people can't say let's all meet and let's go protest and one person says hey let's all go break some windows that person goes to jail uh, and didn't commit a crime but for inciting a, a, a riot um, the Egyptian Spring and all this stuff uh, they, they made our, our, our telephones illegal because it can be very powerful uh, we do have in our fingertips the, the ability to take down in, uh, institutions, governments, um, all kinds of things. Um, they are very happy to watch us just LOL at LeBron James's tweet about somebody's asshole. And like, 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 like that's, that, that's what it all is. The moment it becomes effective and we do anything with it, um, like it's possible to be great graffiti on walls, like the Situationists, where they would write. The graffiti was incredible political screeds and things like that that, that made sense and were uh, provocative. The moment you provoke anything on Twitter, they, they, they just shut off your cell towers. And uh, they, they don't want you to actually communicate. So what we've been limited to is pretending that what we're doing when we're typing these things in and thumbing things instead of talking to the people and making eye contact with anybody, we're not communicating shit. We're, just, we're, we're, we're doing the opposite of communicating. We're, we're, we're inverting like a sea cucumber. Like we're not doing anything pro- positive I'm going to disagree. Communication doesn't have to be revolution. And fun can be fun. Just because we're not wash, uh, marching on Washington or driving our trucks there in some failed attempt to take out people in suits no, and no, change no. things. Fun is always mean. legal. Fun is always legal. Revolution is always illegal. That's the, the point. No, no, it's no, against no, the no law. one's going to outlaw checkers. Uh, you, 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 you can play Candy Crush and no one's going to take your phone away from you. But the moment you use our ability to communicate with each other for anything that's provocative or, or or possibly revolutionary, that's when it's going to be illegal. Absolutely. Well, I don't think, but I don't think we're revolutionizing anything uh, in person either. And and if the feds are the only people that have phones that are capable of Twitterizing, I, I don't want to live in that society either. Uh, I miss the good old days because we were the last people that were actually born. I, I, I think that uh, at, at, born in 1973, I remember uh, no answering machines. The, uh, the answering machine was an invention as I was a child. And before then, the phone just rang. And if you didn't pick it up, you weren't home. And, and, and fuck you, and whoever. Like, like I, I, I ain't coming. And, uh, and you, I remember as like being a kid, my mom and dad, like the phone would ring. And we'd all look around. And it was like, ring, 
and we'd all just like have a fork up, like or like a, you know, my dad would have a, a cocktail, and my mom would have a glass of wine, and we'd all just look at each other like, <laughs> like we ain't doing it, we ain't doing it, and the, the beauty of it, solitude, and uh, and then I remember like, I had a pager. After after people had cell phones, I got a page and I was like, I'm I'm anchored to the seafloor now. Like like I can never ever be alone. I can never ever be free. I I think that's my grumpy like curmudgeonly grumpy old man thing. Is like there there was a time when you weren't constantly tethered to every fucking person. That but we're talking about left. two different things. Yeah. You, you, you're as a as a guy who wears a suit to a bar and talks to people and hangs out. You are getting a huge amount of usage out of the fact that everyone's interconnected through the internet. Yelp is one example that you mentioned. Right. Um, you're talking. You're asking a different question, which is why would anyone ever choose to emotionally invest themselves into the conversations that take place right, right, on right. the internet as opposed to the conversations that take place between you and your friends at a yeah. dartboard in a bar? And yeah, the we- answer is because in those conversations, people like me uh, are rendered completely irrelevant and also look at everything as irrelevant. Uh, I, I don't want to talk to those people. I've seen those conversations. I don't get any joy out of them. I don't like I don't like interpersonal small talk. And I you, and you, you had like, an like, entire like, book just of things you wrote because the internet gave you a place where you could write them. And exactly. And book. I don't. I don't remember a goddamn word of those things. My girlfriend published a book of them, and I was I was uh, forty years old, walking into my house, and yeah, I, I, I didn't remember writing any of that shit. And if that if that medium hadn't existed, I would have I would have. They'd like, be in a diary somewhere. Well, they wouldn't even. Not even. Not even, no way. Because with a diary, there would have been no illusion that anyone was out there reacting to me. And there was something strange that happened to me when I discovered that thing called blogging, which had that dumb word, and all my hipster friends were going like, blogging, blog, blog, blog. blog. I'm not going to blog. I'm going to blog, blog, blog. And I, I was like, you know what? I, I, I still hate blog. I, 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 I hate, hate away. And I, and, I, and I would come Also, home. webisode. I would come Fuck home. you, webisode. Webisode. <laughs> I would come home at the end of the night, and I would be—I would have an, uh, a, a medium in which I could type my thoughts, which I somehow felt like someone's going to read this somehow. It was some weird, paradoxical thing where it was like I'm allowed to write whatever I want because no one's ever going to read it or care about it. But only if people could read about read it theoretically. Would I ever write it? I think yeah, it's because imp- otherwise, why? No, you're yeah. not going to reread. Why it. would you scrawl it on a napkin? What am I, uh, Sirhan Sirhan? I'm not going to... Uh, so, Dan, you're saying that now for, you, you forsworn emotional reactions or connections to the uh, to c- comment sections and reddits and things? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to declare policy because I find that... It, it, it's like what I, what I, I followed my bliss and kind of I, I deleted the my Reddit client from my phone and I've deleted... Uh, uh, I, 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 my, my, only, my only avenues of connection... Uh, and believe me, there's nothing against Reddit because I, it's only against the secondary effects that, it, that can happen because Reddit actually is such a beneficial medium, I think, because of its conversational tone uh, that it lends itself to the gawker defamer kind of spiral you think for a guy be- like me. Because of celebrity and the intersection between celebrity and technology. And right. Uh, Jeff, I'd like to say you having a cell phone is wonderful for your life. You're an actor. You don't want to be in your apartment Every day, hoping that you hear back for a part. You can go out. You can live a life. You don't have to worry about the answering machine. You don't have to worry about not having an answering machine. As someone who gets gigs while he's driving or while he's at a party or at a friend's house, being able to take my work with my pocket is tremendously freeing. Sure. Because there are some days the phone doesn't ring at all. But at it's 7 p.m. on a Sunday. I like to be able to know I'm going to work on Wednesday Adam, and not Adam, have to be at home. Adam, why are you mad at me right now? <laughs> He, th- I, he thinks that, you're, you. that you might possibly convince everyone in a room full of people to unplug the internet because, because you have flesh and blood efficacy, which is something that Adam and I do not have. And so we like to sit in the corners of our dark apartments, or in my case, mansion. <laughs> Because of what I write, and and I love that you've committed to being a bad person. I love that. We, 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 
we get an emotional charge, and it's not. It's 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 it's. it's I was going to say it's neither healthy nor unhealthy, but I might as well just say it. it's unhealthy. Um, but but it's uh, it you know it can't possibly produce good effects. I, I mean I, I, I mean I, what, none of us are living in the days of Jane Austen. We are not. And 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 was she nailing it? Uh, like, like 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 what are we? What are we supposed to be going to picnics and 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 doing like like special dances among the nobles? <laughs> you know, to 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 strengthen some kind of class system and uh, having. 